Hello, it's Marion Stewart and welcome to my weekly wisdom. Today I'm focusing on panic attacks in particular because it's such a common feature at the time of the menopause. I used to think that hot flushes and night sweats were the most common symptom but when I started to do research and surveys and polls in my Facebook group I found that women were really scared by their panic attacks. Sometimes they even had palpitations as well and some of them thought they were having a heart attack. It can be incredibly frightening. You cannot underestimate how scary it can be and so obviously if you do feel that way you need to and check, get checked out by your doctor but there are lots of natural things that you can do to help yourself to calm your symptoms down so the first thing you need to think about is what's going on in your body at this time in your life that makes it different from what's gone on before because a lot of women don't have panic attacks and palpitations in their younger years although some of them did have them to some degree premenstrually but it's certainly amplified when you get to menopause for many women you've got low levels of nutrients and that's a factor we know from research that we did over the years that very often women have got low levels of important nutrients which affects your brain chemistry and your hormone functions so it sends you into what I call economy mode where you do the bare minimum but also it can make you very fragile so there's lots you can do for yourself to get yourself out of this pickle first of all you've got to get yourself into really good nutritional shape so taking a good strong multivitamin and mineral supplement a bit like Femma 45 plus in the UK or Gynovite plus in the US which are broad spectrum pills that will give you back the nutrients that you're lacking. Obviously make your diet very nutrient dense as well. Cut out the junk food, make sure you've got plenty of wholesome food, little and often. Naturally occurring estrogen as well regularly because you want to fill these little receptor sites, so consuming soy, maybe taking some flax seeds as well, that's another rich source, and take some of the supplements that have been shown to help you through the menopause, either to fill the estrogen receptor sites like promensal or feminescence macapause, which again in the trials have been shown to help with anxiety, to help influence the hormone producing glands and calm everything down in your body. And you've also got valerian supplements that you can take in the night if you're feeling twitchy to help you relax. And don't forget the Paziz app has a sleep program as well, which helps to get you back off to sleep. So in the short term, lots of things you can do for yourself. In the longer term, once you've got yourself back into good nutritional shape, after a good few months, then these symptoms should disappear and you should be able to go forward feeling symptom free and just embrace your life again but you need to learn how to meet your needs in order to bring that about so I hope that gives you a bit of peace of mind a bit of reassurance that you're not maybe having a heart attack and it is just to do with midlife and menopause and it can be resolved